Well, hello, Model Car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ral, and I want to start off with a Happy New Year for 2024 for all you guys that are watching this and celebrating the new year. And uh, I'm looking back at 2023 and and some of the things that I've been through and what I built right here is all the builds that I have completed for 2023. And a lot of thanks. There's a, a lot of things that happened that uh, just kind of blow my mind here. Uh, one of the big things is hitting 10,000 subscribers. That uh, huge couple of thumbs up and something I never really thought I would uh, make. But as the channel has picked up steam and, and moved on, um, it's kind of surprising to me. But uh, I'm enjoying it. And everybody who watches every, you know, all of my videos and comments regularly, I really do enjoy all of that too. So thank you for everybody who watches these and subscribes and everything and shares. Uh, that really helps out and uh, really motivates me to to build and everything and do these videos because I really enjoy building these model cars and, and doing that. Um, but I really had to learn, you know, filming and videoing and, and tweaking how I build stuff and trying to get it on camera and everything. So thank you guys for all of that and your feedback and everything on all of that. Uh, I, I do listen and appreciate that. And a couple other things here. Um, you got to say thank you to uh, my sponsor, Hobby Nut Models. He's been a very big help, Mark there. He's uh, actually provided a couple of kits, you know, here, both the Boss 351 kits um, he provided. I was going to buy at least one anyway, but he provided those and the MCW paint for uh, me as, to share on the channel as part of the sponsorship. And same with the 68 Coronet RT convertible. He provided that as well. And, uh, you know, sponsoring the channel with that. So I do really appreciate that. And there's a few other kits he provided as well that I have not built yet, but I featured on the channel or, you know, got into the kit components of them. And I do really appreciate his support. And you guys that are, you know, checking the video link description below for the link and, and supporting him as well. Cause, uh, you know, I get a very small portion of uh, purchases as well, and it goes towards my store credit to help me purchase model kits from him as well. So, you know, then that way it also uh, helps and supports the channel, which is, you know, something I never really thought about when I got going into this here. But, uh, you know, not looking for handouts or free kits you know, wasn't really a, a concern for me, especially with the you know, having already having a stash of 500 plus model kits and resin bodies and restoration kits uh, lying around my house already since I've been building for over 20 years. So, um, but again, thanks uh, Hobby Nut Models, Mark, for your support there and continued support as uh, I've got other things I've talked to him about that are coming for 2024. But uh, we'll get into uh, these builds as I do roughly... Um, 12 a month filming and doing them on the channel does slow me down a little bit, but uh, that's all part of it because, you know, I take my time, make sure I film it, try and get it all on camera. Uh, editing and producing these videos does eat into my hobby time as well. So it's kind of turning into two or three hobbies. Well, model car building, collecting, reading, um, whatever I can get my hands on, all part of the hobby and then on top of it, you know, producing these videos and doing all that and learning all of that as well and gaining lots of friendships uh, as a bonus as well. So uh, without further ado, really, I'll get into some of these particular builds and what they are. But, you know, I, I did do a lot of uh, um, not really box stock, but a lot of them were box stock or projects that I had started or wanted to start. But um uh, one of the first ones here, of course, is this uh, 68 Coronet RT convertible. This is the new kit from AMT MPC. And as I mentioned, Hobby Nut Models supplied it. And I built it. So I built it right out of the box and, and really enjoyed it, even though you know I've got restorations in there. Um, but this one has been featured. Um, all of these will be featured, but some of these have not been featured yet. So their videos will be coming out because I just completed them. Um, talking about my Corvette uh, right here, and then, of course, my Duster. But uh, some of the others, like this particular Corvette, this is right out of the box, just another box stock built. And I did a number of Corvettes, and I've done a number of Corvettes on the channel. Uh, and it's because I've got, like, 50-plus unbuilt kits and a lot of projects in mine, plus reading about Corvettes and their statistics and, 
and that stuff. So, you know, this one is a 68 L88 Roadster. This is the Ravel kit. Uh, like I said, built right out of the box. And um, I really enjoyed that one. I, I mean, I enjoy all my builds here. But here's another one. This is the Ravel 67 Chevelle SS 396. And did it maroon from scale finishes. And uh, this one was a box stock stalled build um, that was in primer. And I just couldn't pick a color. And I just got in a mood to really look at colors and decided I was going to go with this color, the maroon on that. Because it's really sharp but really rare. Uh, also, you know, one of my big conversions here, this is from Fugu Garage uh, in Russia. And it is a 2020 Shelby GT500. And this was a fun build, but a bit challenging. So there's a couple of times where it sat off to the side where I was not motivated on doing some things. But there was a, a full build series on this particular one and painting and building it. But the whole front end, uh, this was the Tamiya kit originally, the race car. And all the interior and the front nose and a lot of the bits to make it appear stock on the outside, but no motor. And it's got all the race car chassis. But this one is fully featured and been on, uh, it's on the channel. And another one here, this is the Ravel 71 Olds 442, which, you know, I, I was building on a channel. And funny story with this particular one, and you get these emails and stuff where I had gotten somebody an email. I was in the middle of actually building this on the channel, and I had gotten an email from somebody claiming to be a representative of Ravel, really liked my work on the channel, and was going to send me one of these kits Um free of charge right from Ravel as part of, uh, uh, you know, supporting the channel and whatnot. But it wasn't from Ravel. You can kind of tell from the email address. It was from some marketing firm or whatever. So I had replied to it, but, you know, if they were watching my actual videos, they would know that I was already building this kit on the channel and they were offering me the kit. But, uh, you know, I reached out saying, hey, yeah, if you're from Ravel, um, I would be interested in future work, but I am currently building that car. But any other future ones, uh, you know, I would be interested in, but never got a response back. So another one here in my Corvettes, this is the Grand Sport, you know, and I haven't had um, a, a C4. You know, I built some when they were fairly new, um, you know, some of the early ones. And, but I have a bunch of them and I went on a buying spree, but I wanted to build this one. And it's actually, you know, the only C4 I have built, but I got a bunch of them now. So this is one I really enjoy building on the channel. This one's uh, pretty much right out of the box other than, you know, I painted the stripes on and used some of the raised kits decals on it. Another one that's pretty much right out of the box as well. Oh, the Ghostbusters. My son really loved those movies this year. He really got to watch them and Afterlife. And he knew I had the kits. So he started bugging me, Dad, let's build one. Let's build it. Come on, let's build it. Well, that meant um, he did a little bit to it, mostly me building it. And he just uh, uh, watched and supported and cheered me on. And so that's what this is. It's just pretty much right out of the box. Uh, just just basically had some fun. Did it on the, in the time here and there. In between some builds but i did finish that this year and uh with his motivation another one here was this one let me get her and so i don't drop her uh one another one i really wanted to build and i've had the kits you know since they first came out yep there we go I knew i was gonna drop at least one part but uh the 72 olds uh cutlass convertible hearst convertible here um great kit and I don't know why I took my sweet time building one of these as I built a whole bunch of the uh, Johan ones. You guys have seen those on the channel. But uh, built this one, really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, it's a great kit to go together. But again, another one that was pretty much right out of the box. But with her, this is what challenged me was the figurines. Um, she looked kind of funny. I have another one, uh, a whole other kit. But... I didn't like how her face looked, her hair looked. It just didn't look right as far as the detail there. So I repainted her her hair, added some like uh, uh, clear orange to it a little bit, and then uh, some brown brush strokes in there. So, uh, and that came out awesome. Then I redid her face a little bit and talk about putting paint on a needle there. 
but and then repainted her legs and uh, did some of the um, black wash in there and kind of you know touched up here and a couple of different layers just trying to get it to look right but she came out looking awesome so I was really happy with her but at the same time I had this guy I had him a while and I'm not a figurine guy and a you know this so that's been kind of a challenge for me and this is Memphis range here um, from scale productions and I got him a long time ago I don't know if he's still available but 15 years 20 years ago when I first got the 67 Eleanor uh, resin conversion kit which I featured on the channel but I built that 15 years ago but that's when I got him um, and I think I may have been one of the second ones because I actually bought three of those kits but I had him and never actually built them so after messing with her, I got kind of motivated and I built this guy and he wasn't a painted at all. So it wasn't a pre-painted figure, but I cranked him out. So oh, got the mirror and that's kind of why I have him sitting right here next to the, the boss 351 Mustang. Now this of course is, you know, the hobby nut model sponsored 71 boss 351. This is a great kit. Um, loved building this thing. It was, it was a lot of fun, but I built both of them side by side, which you know, I, I shouldn't say I don't do, I rarely do, but sometimes I'll do two at a time, but building two at a time on the channel simultaneously, uh, a little bit of a challenge, but this kit, this kit's just awesome. And both of them are featured, you know, so there's this one in the grabber yellow with black stripes and then the Acapulco blue with the silver stripes. And I knew I was going to build one in this color combo. I always love this color combo, but the MPC stripes were really hard to deal with. And um, Keith Marks did offer silver stripes, but I used a lot of his black ones. But this one, I knew I was going to do one in at least this color. So had fun building this, but I really didn't do any extra detailing. Just built it right out of the box. And what else do I got here that I haven't uh, mentioned? Oh, and of course, this newest one. This is the Baldwin Motion Phase 3 GT. And this is a resin body that I got from Mickey Jerese. Uh, if I'm saying that right, but this is the one yeah, I've been building on the channel. I had, I finished it as you can see here, but I haven't featured it. So I'll be featuring that soon. So there's a sneak peek of the engine there. Um, but I'll be featuring this soon, um, in all of its glory on how I built it. And, you know, the build series is on there, but, uh, finished that one up and you know, I've done uh, a number of Baldwin motions and, you know, Corvettes. So finished that one. And then the last one I get finished up, which is really not really the last one, this is my 72 AMT Duster. So kind of lights kind of behind it because of the camera I got angled here. But this one isn't stone stock. Um, so I'll be featuring this on the channel here real soon um, as my completed build. But I converted the 71 AMT Duster 340 into a 72. Most of the work's in that tail panel right there. Um, but I did a couple of things and then I did the twister hood, um, which this isn't available on a 340 from the factory, but a lot of people have added them. The wing wasn't available from the factory and then I put uh, uh, Krager wheels on it. So this one's a bit of a day two car, but mostly factory stock. And uh, yeah, I finished that one. I had to repaint the mirrors because I forgot to paint them the first time. So kind of comical, but I do make some mistakes, but uh, had a good time building that one. But that's a stalled build that I had sitting for a long time. So a couple of stalled builds. Really don't have any restorations in this particular group, but I did some last year. So I'll focus on a couple more restorations and some more factory stock stuff and uh, some more resin stuff. And hopefully I'll do a 3D uh, printed build as I picked up a few of those as well and have some more planned for you guys. So I think I'll uh, cut it right there and I'll do another video of some... Uh, plans or future ones that I want to get done for next year. So with that, I'm going to stop right there and say thank you everyone for watching the channel and all your support and enjoying this, hopefully as much as I do. And you guys, uh, you have a wonderful new year and I will see you uh, uh, on the next video and everything. So thanks again. You guys have a wonderful day and weekend and I will see you next time.